Hey everybody, I'm going to do another screencast, but this time we're going to look at how we take a resultant vector and break it down into its individual pieces. Um, this will be very helpful when we get a little bit further into vectors, um, so we're going to try working with it now. Yesterday in class we talked about, or actually today in class, earlier today, we talked about how to um, take individual pieces of vectors like that and that and add them together. But today what we want to do is figure out how to take what's already been added and break it apart. So what we do, there's two ways you can do this. Um, both work exactly the same way. But basically you want to think of this resultant vector as sort of a box. You can almost draw, sorry for the bad line here, can almost draw a box where the vector represents the diagonal of the box. And really what that does is it allows us to take only half of that. We don't need the whole box. We're just going to go like this and like this. And there's our triangle. So the only thing we have to figure out is what direction are the arrows. Some of you might be able to see this real quick and that well, this arrow is pointing not just to the east, it's also pointing somewhat north, so we're going to have an eastward facing vector and a northward facing vector. So this would be our east, this would be our north, and this is our northeast vector. But we want to get a little bit more specific. So, being a little bit more careful, Trying to get a nice straight line here. Ah, beautiful. So that's part of our vector. That's our east part of our resultant. Here's our resultant right up here. So this is our eastward part of the resultant. But what do we do with that? How do we know what size it is? How do we know um, what its actual magnitude is? We know the direction's east, and we know that there's a second part of the resultant that is north. We know this is the north part. But again, how do we figure out what the actual um, length is of these? What the Because the length is, again, the magnitude of these vectors. So what we can do is we have to use a little bit of trigonometry where we have SOHCAHTOA which stands for sine, opposite, hypotenuse, cosine, adjacent, hypotenuse, and tangent, opposite, over, adjacent. So we're going to use the SOHCAHTOA rule, and it will allow us to um, figure out what these actual lengths are, the length of the north, the length of the east, providing we know at least one other length. So let's do a sample problem. Let's clear this all out, and we'll rebuild. So, going back to our north, or sorry, our east facing vector, because again, it's just part of it. This vector doesn't just go up and over, um, it goes part way over and then the other part up. So, let's say that this vector is an angle of 30 degrees. Alright, well, and let's give this a length, the resultant will have a length of 10 meters. So as we talked about in class, this vector would be labeled, our resultant would be 10 meters at, what do you think? What's this vector going to be? 10 meters at, well it's not just going east, it's going a little bit above east, so it's 30 degrees north, we got to rotate the vector north of east. So that's our resultant vector. We want to break it down into its individual parts, part A and part B, where part A will be the east part and part B will be the north part. So going along with that, we have our hypotenuse side of the triangle. Why is that stop working? 
hypotenuse side of the triangle. And this side is the adjacent. We're always in reference to this angle, the angle we drew. So the side that's not the hypotenuse and that is touching um, is always the adjacent side. So height and adjacent going along with Sokotoa. Let me rewrite it up here just a little smaller. Sokotoa. So we have H and A. Well, that would be cosine. So, in order to figure it out, we want to just set up that quick equation. We're trying to find the length of this white vector. Well, we know that cosine of 30 degrees is adjacent. That's this A right here. Over hypotenuse. That's this H right here. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. And we know though that the hypotenuse is 10. So our adjacent, so cosine 30 degrees really is adjacent over 10. Or the adjacent side is adjacent, just solving for adjacent, is cosine of 30 degrees times 10. That's divided by right here, so you got to multiply it up. Multiply by 10 on both sides. And you can see that it's 10 times cosine 30. If memory serves me correctly, cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2, roughly, I think, 0.66. Um, so 0.66 times 10, if you do it in your calculator, will be roughly 6.6 .6 meters. So we just found our vector A. It's 6.6 .6 meters, 6.6 .6 meters east. Perfect. Now we have to find vector B. So switch color. Vector B is our red vector. So that's our vector B. And what side of the triangle it is? We still know that that's 30. We still know the hypotenuse. We even actually know the adjacent. So we're just trying to find the rest. You can do this in a couple ways. Um, I'm going to continue with the Sokotoa, but you could also use the Pythagorean theorem. Because you know side C, you know side A, you can do the Pythagorean theorem to find side B. But just for practice, using Sokotoa and these um, this type of mathematics. I want to go through uh, real quick, this will be the last thing, showing you how to find side B. So again, we have the opposite side and we have hypotenuse. So up on the Sokotoa, opposite hypotenuse. We want to use the sine. So that's set up the equation, sine of 30 equals opposite over hypotenuse. But again, we know the hypotenuse to be 10, so it's opposite over 10. Same idea, multiply by 10 on both sides. So you're going to get 10 times, the sine of 30 is 1 half, so 0.5, equals my opposite side. So 10 times 0.5 is nothing more than 5 meters. So our opposite side, which is the magnitude of vector B, is 5 meters. And we know that it's pointing to the north, because our um, overall first vector was not just east. It wasn't just north. It was somewhere northeast. Um, so we had to break it into one part that was east and one part that was north. So our final result, breaking it apart, allows us to tell these parts, and really we don't call them parts, we have a fancier word for it, and that fancier word is called the components. So what you did is you took the resultant, which is this R, that's the resultant, and broke it into its pieces. 
its pieces or parts are called the components. So that's great. Um, what we could do with this uh, is, if you need to copy this down, now's a good time to pause. But what we can do with this is sometimes we'll have to try to add two vectors where we have to add this vector, call it vector A, plus maybe this vector B. And vector A is, again, that 30 degrees. Well, tip-to-tail method says you have to start here, go up, and then vector B would start at the uh, sorry, the tip of the uh, first vector, so then it goes over here. And the resultant would be from all the way over here to all the way over here. You can't do the Pythagorean theorem at this point. It's just not possible. The Pythagorean theorem, you need to have a right angle, and we don't have that right angle. So what breaking the components does is it allows us to figure out what this piece is and what this piece is. And I know on this one I did it this way. So I did on the previous slide I did this plus this. But I could have just as easily gone north first and then east. Still giving you the same thing. So on this one I went north first then east. So really that takes away this piece and we're left with a bigger triangle. We're left with a single north, then two vectors to the east. This side, which we found to be 6.6 .6 earlier, and doesn't want to work. This side we found to be 5 earlier, and then what we initially had, let's say our B was 7 then we can easily add the 6.6 .6 and 7 to be 13.6 and then that would allow us to ultimately find our resultant, whatever that number is. So what I want you to do for homework, just to show that you have watched this, is come in with this value for the resultant. Thank you very much.